Welcome to Border Girls TV and welcome to New Dundas Park in a cold Tuesday evening in Borderig for some Cinch League 2 action. Borderig Rose versus Elgin City. Borderig Rose unbeaten in their last four. Here's the team that Robbie Horn names for today. Just one change from the side that drew it home to Stranra at the weekend. Paddy Martin in goals, Angus Mailer, Neil Martinuk, Kerr Young, Scott Mercer, Declan Byrne, Lee Curry, Ross Gray, Reese Peggy, Connor Doan and Bradley Barrett. And it will be Elgin City to get us underway. Brian Cameron taking the kickoff. And goes over. There wasn't a lot of contact in there, though. Jones for Gallagher. Not dealt with by Peggy. Dingwall leaves it for Golding. And it's pushed over the bar by Paddy Martin. It's almost something to the fans. It'll be the long trip down to Bonig. Behind the goal, it's almost something for them to cheer for early on in this game. And it comes from Curry, headed away by Draper. There's Ross Gray, he's got a shot off, it's blocked. Barrett has a try and it hits the side netting and it's deflected out for another corner. Borrowry Groves getting a big chance there. Ross Gray just sneaks in. Ahead of Mitchell Taylor. His shot's blocked. Bradley Barrett's effort takes a deflection off of Brian Cameron for another corner. It's going to be Mercer to take. It's got a bit of height on it. Mikhail comes for it, doesn't claim, and Connor Dolan is on hand. And Bonnery Groves take the lead. It's in here at New Dundas Park. It's a well taken goal from Conor Dorney, scored against Elgin last season. And he has another against the Black and Whites this season. They are spilled by Thomas McHale. There's a lot of height on that one from Mercer in a packed box. Plenty of opportunities for error there. McHale misses out. And it falls kindly for Conor Doan with his own hand to tuck it into an empty net. Draper for Dolzanski. And the referee calls an end to proceedings in the first half. Conor Groves take a lead into the break at New Dundas Park. That'll be Lee Curry to get us back on the way in this second half. He loses out to Ross Gray. There comes Declan Byrne with the ball. Behind Bradley Barrett, Rose continues to get some bodies forward. But Barrett can't go past his marker. It's well recovered by Booth. Barrett. Gives it to the left of East Peggy. Peggy's cross. And it's met by Conor Dolan for his second of the evening. And what a finish that is from Conor Dolan. And it comes from Reese Peg. It's a brilliant delivery. Connor Dillon. It's a lovely cushioned effort. Into Tom McHale's bottom left corner. And Bonnie goes a two to the good. Two goals from Connor Dillon. McHale on the ball. Up the field from McHale. Headed on by Dolzanski. A slip from Kerry Young. Sees it fall favourably for Golding. It's Dijon Golding. And that one is wide of Paddy Martins. Right hand post. And they're going to come close in the last few moments. A couple of decent chances. Golding, probably the biggest chance of them all there. Just couldn't find the net. Find a goal that gives Elgin a lifeline. Lee Curry. Forward looking for Barrett. It's a good pass. Barrett takes it by his man. Still Bradley Barrett round McHale. And he hits the post. Just can't apply. The finishing touch and he deserved it for the work he did for that one. A brilliant pass by Lee Curry. Just knees it out of the way of Dolzanski. Takes it round McHale. To McHale's credit, he does well to get a tough angle for Bradley Barrett. It should he have went round the keeper. It's going to be Mercer to deliver. Kerry Young's header is caught by McHale. He's going towards his top left corner. So he had to get something on it. 
Is it to the clear with a slips on the surface? Now Mela looking to push forward. Has Miguel making the run. Robbie Miguel. Back for Bada Barrett. Barrett's shot blocked by Draper. Johnny Stewart tries his luck. And Johnny Stewart's effort flashes wide of Mikhail's goal. It's an ambitious effort. But always worth a try, especially when you have a two-goal cushion, you can afford to take some risks like that in the final third. And the referee calls an end to proceedings at New Dundas Park. Final game before a Titanic clash with Aberdeen at the weekend. Bonnery Groves got a 2-0 win over Elgin City in Central League 2. Goals either side of half time from Corridon. I mean, the full time score is Bonnery Groves 2, Elgin City 0. Robbie, all three points today. What do you make of the team's performance and uh, most notably Connor Doan's performance? I thought there's a team that were outstanding, to be honest, a man. I thought, uh, yeah, it's difficult to single anyone out again, but he kept, uh, kept a clean sheet again, back four solid, but you know, working hard from the front. Um, and, I, and I thought we deserved it, I thought we deserved the victory today. And, you know, delighted for Connor, two goals, second one's actually a decent move and a good finish as well. Um, so that nah, was a massive three points. Um, obviously, everyone was disappointed on Saturday. Um, obviously, conditions didn't help. I didn't think we were at our best on Saturday. It was just difficult to play. Wind was not so bad tonight, and you know we tried to get the ball down and play a wee bit when it was on. So I say it's a massive three points. Um, a really good team performance. A big some big performances from different players, and you know now we can look forward to Saturday. The boys played like they were eager to get their names on the team sheet for this Saturday's fifth round cup tie against Aberdeen. What do you make of the team's sort of testament of how, how the boys are working with each other, especially with the new signings? I know I know Mercer and I know Byrne aren't able to play this weekend, but all the boys seemed very hungry and looked looked like they're looking for a, a great performance on Saturday. To be honest, I think it's more important was the league. I think we've made that quite clear over the last couple of games you know we were really disappointed after the game on Saturday that we obviously ultimately there was a draw was a fair result but you know we were looking for three points on Saturday and we were looking for three points tonight to put ourselves in a better position in the league so they weren't you know we forgot about Saturday to be honest we're coming in the game tonight it didn't matter about Saturday Saturday takes care of itself and the most important thing was we got a win tonight and a wee reaction to obviously after Saturday disappointment not getting three points so as I say, massive three points for us. Um, you know, now we can look forward to the game on Saturday and go and enjoy it. It's a a fantastic occasion for for the club, um, the players, supporters as well. You know, big support going up to to get behind us and you know, very difficult task. Um, but I'm nah, really looking forward to it. Now I'm looking forward to locking horns with Mr. Warnock as well, which is uh, something to look forward to. Cheers, Rob.